Caballero, and we're catching up with my daily life. The Bones Brigade documentary came out last year. We premiered at Sundance, then we premiered it all over the country, and uh, we tried to make as many as we could, try to get some of the Bones Brigade members there with Stacy, and uh, just do a lot of uh, Q&As afterwards, after the movie, and uh, just so people get a little bit more insight of uh, how the film was made and, and what our emotions were when we went through making the film and how we put it all together. You know, it was a very successful year, and with that, you know, we're coming out with a new coffee table book from Pal Peralta that's going to document a lot of skaters that weren't in the film. I'm super stoked that the name Pal Peralta is back in full force again. Coming out with a bunch of reissues with, with Pal Peralta on the bottom instead of just Pal Skateboard. So it's really awesome to see that Stacy and George kind of reconciled their relationship and building a new one and uh, just kind of starting off where they left off. Man, I'm just traveling all over the world these days. Just got back from Brazil with the X Games. I got hired to be one of the judges for four events. In between that, you know, I'm traveling to uh, New York to do a Vans thing at the House of Vans. Detroit to do the Orion Metallica Music Festival with the art show, skateboarding. And also going to Japan for an art show, going to China for an art show. So uh, life doesn't seem to slow down for me. It's getting busier and busier, which is a blessing, man. I'm super stoked. What keeps me motivated is just life in general, man. Waking up and just being like, here's a new day to do something, to contribute, to inspire, to encourage, to also better myself as a human being and, and all the talents that I've acquired over the years and just become better and better at everything I attach myself to. What stokes me about the Masters and Legends events is the fact that we've got a second chance to enhance our careers, you know, and it's because of World Cup allowing that platform for us. It's given us a chance to rekindle our careers and, and go out there and promote the sport, you know, and it's a blessing, man. It's, a, it's flattering. I'm thankful to just be able to compete with the young guys as well in the, in the same pools. But competing against uh, all the guys that skated with the 80s and seeing some guys come out of the woodwork. You know, we're still all super competitive, just like we were 20 years ago, but we just, you know, we gained a few pounds and it's a little bit harder these days, you know, not so loose, and, uh, but we're trying, man, and I think we put on a pretty good show for everybody.